playing with chainmail when I was maybe 13 or 14 years old. Uh, I was a big nerd, a big geek. Uh, I wanted a chainmail shirt of my own, I couldn't afford one. So I, you know, dug up on the dark days of the internet a website on how to make chainmail. And my dad and I went to a hardware store, we picked up pliers and, and crappy wire and a piece of steel rod to wrap it around, and uh, I've been doing it ever since. I took a huge leap when I was 17 and started here at the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair. I uh, built a shop, uh, I opened up business, and started selling things to the thousands of people here. I didn't know anything about anything, and I kind of just dove into my art two feet first. I've been lucky uh, since that I get to travel around to other fairs, other shows, uh, other venues, and really kind of show off my work and what I do to a whole bunch of different people. It's a really fantastic experience. I guess the biggest thing that makes my work different from things you can buy on the internet is that it is entirely handmade. In a lot of cases, I start with wire. I turn the wire into rings, I get them colored, I, I weave them into a different pattern, uh, then tumble the finished piece and then have it for sale. So it's entirely handmade from a scrap of metal into a, a beautiful wearable piece of art. Another thing I think that's different uh, is my bikini top design. It's something I've been working on for maybe almost 10 years at this point, and uh, I'm really proud of it. And it's uh, really a great, effective solution to the problem of, you know, a crummy chainmail bikini. And I think that I've kind of hit the nail on the head with it. I'm really lucky that I've been able to do this professionally for 15 years and as a full-time job for eight. And I really want to say thank you to everyone I've met along the way at fairs, conventions, Please come see me, say hi, and let's hope we can see each other for many more years to come.